Um, I'm going to make this quick. Um, some emails came to me about some uh, sinkholes and um, I thought I'd uh, make a video real quick about it. Uh, there was. It was up at uh, Calumet Grove which is up by Nancy Lopez which from here it's uh, mile wise my car is probably seven or eight miles it's up quite a ways but sinkhole is a sinkhole it doesn't make any difference where it is sinkhole can occur anywhere at any time it has to do with our rainy season and it has to do with the high water table and the limestone and it go it's a, it's a process but uh, everybody was safe everybody got out fire responders got in there evacuated everybody and closed off the streets two of the uh, golf course holes I think it was hole 8 and hole 9 if I was on here hole 8 or hole 9 I think are shut down the golf cart trail up there through the golf course is shut down to a further notice um, I don't know if I can show it or not here's in the newspaper there's the house right there one of the houses and if you look right there there's a small sinkhole there and then here's a larger sinkhole here and apparently there was a third and a fourth there somewhere so and according to the ad the um, they just decided that the uh, catastrophic ground collapse insurance was going to take care of it uh, because uh, the homes were condemned so they're deemed to be uninhabitable so catastrophic ground collapse insurance will hopefully cover most of it I don't know what kind of deductible it is uh, but uh, yeah and it, it happened up at Calumet Grove the address was uh, southeast 79th McLaurin Terrace in the village of Calumet Grove happened on Thursday yesterday and the lady said that uh, uh, cracks in the floor drooping shrubbery and a loud boom led to the discovery of a quickly deepening sinkhole in the village of Calumet Grove and uh, the district public safety fire chief Edmund Kane said they got out of the house they called the right people district public safety and Marion County Sheriff's Office in turn responded rapidly arriving at the home just before 4 a.m. to discover the sinkhole opening up around the home by the afternoon four sizable holes had opened on different sides of the home located in the 17,000 block of East Southeast 79th McLaurin M-C-L-A-W-R-E-N McLaren Terrace one hole swallowed up the front walkway another filled the gap between two houses and its neighbor so they're going to do what they can do I mean I don't know what else they can do also I got some other information on the past as long as I'm doing this I'm going to pass along some more I had several 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 emails about where the bridges and tunnels are going to be down by Finney well they finally put it in the newspaper I got it here I don't know if I can make Harley heads or tails out of it I'll do the best I can do um, I'll turn this thing around so you can see. Hopefully, you can see. Here's Paddock Square. Let's start down here at Finney. There's Finney. Here's the village of DeSoto, and here's the village of Linden that's in Finney. Finney, DeSoto, village of Linden, this area here, village of Marsh Bend. Can you see the names? Village of Marsh Bend. DeSoto, Linden, and then there's Finney. This is Highway 468 here. Wildwood is here. 301 comes down, well, Wildwood's actually way up now, right over here. Wildwood's about right there. 301 comes out of Wildwood and comes, and comes down here to 468, and where the two meet right there, Finney is on this corner. This is all going to be developed here, by the way all of this so surprises are still yet to come I'm assuming this dark gray line here is the toll road Florida toll turnpike here it almost has to be 
like I say, this is 468. Okay, there's going to be a tunnel right there. That's what those little marks right there mean. That's a golf cart tunnel. It's going to be going under 468 to give you access over here. There's going to be another tunnel right there to give you access. And then right here where the, where the toll road comes up, here's Finney, 468. Once again, here's the toll road. It comes up past Marsh Bend. There's your first bridge right there. So they are going to build a bridge over the toll road right there. Now if you come back to Finney, right here, 468, and bring that over here, there's not a bridge here, it's up here, but I'm just trying to help you to see where we're at. If you take 468 on around and come up to 44, and if you've been out there looking at houses, you people are very familiar with this road. This is the main road. Uh, this, where this goes straight across the road up here, that would be up in here. This road goes all the way up. That would be Morse Boulevard that connects here. There's Rohan Rec Center. There's Lake Deaton Shopping Plaza. And there's going to be a bridge there to get you across 44. Also, let's go back down here. There's Finney. Here's 468. Here's the toll road that comes up here. There's the bridge that gets you across the toll road. And up here, where Brownwood is, or Paddock Square, but Brownwood, there's going to be a bridge right there. Now, it doesn't show anything coming down here, but I do know from uh, reports from the past, right here where Brownwood is, that's Morris Boulevard. Not Morris, I'm sorry. But um, Buena Vista. Buena Vista Boulevard comes down here. And they already said it was going to be a 30 some million dollar project. They're going to extend Buena Vista all the way down to 468, which is here. And I'm not sure exactly what that path's going to be, but it's going to come down something like that. And then right there off Buena Vista is going to be that uh, bridge to take you over to Paddock Square. And as they develop the rest of this, as time goes on, there'll be more tunnels. I don't know if there'll be any more bridges. Those three, those are really expensive to have them built. I mean really expensive. This this is, this is going to be tens of millions of dollars, a couple million, couple million probably. The one up at Spanish Springs back in the day in the 80s was a million just for that. So there's one, two, there's two tunnels. There's going to be more. I'm sure there's going to be more. As time goes on, they'll, they'll let us know. And then over here, I want to show you a little, some extra things that they, they put in the paper. This is a cattail recreational center and Marshview pitch and putt. This is a rendition of what they're going to be putting over there. And then over here, the village of Marsh Bend is, uh, there's going to be the Magnolia Plaza here. Here we are here. This is 468. Once again, 468. They have Marsh Bend, or uh, uh, yeah, Magnolia Plaza. Everglades, uh, nature trails, cattail areas. This is going to be the softball complex. One, two, three, four fields. And over here in this corner, you see this is the softball complex that was over here. Uh, there's going to be the Magnolia Plaza, not too far from it, off to the side here. And this is interesting. They're going to have a multi-purpose soccer field. And of course, basketball courts, uh, tennis courts, platform tennis, pickleball courts, um, RC car range. Uh, they're getting to see more and more of that. The guys in the remote control cars are race. Shuffleball courts, bocce ball courts, radio controlled boat pavilion and dock. That's where the radio controlled boat races and things will, will happen over there. And then, of course, be a rec center here. Ah, I get confused trying to keep up with all this. It's, uh, this is Fanny, Spanish Moss. Uh, this is their rec center. Gray, uh, Gray Fox and Red Fox golf courses are here. The Blue Heron Rec Center, the putt and play. And the last time I was there, pretty much the putt and play was about the end of it. They weren't constructing anymore. 
So now they went on out. They got sugar cane, Dudley uh, K9 dog park here, and then it goes all the way up to Willow Tree. Then you got the village of Linden that they're working on. Uh, I don't know what all's there that really show a lot, but um, outdoor sports. I got them listed here. You can see them. Boat pavilion, bunch of shuffleboard, shared uh, RC car range, platform tennis. Goes on and on. Outdoor exercise equipment, open green space, softball complex with four fields, shared pavilions. Inside the Everglades Rec Center, you got the sales and information office, theater room with stage, expanded card and crafts room, enhanced kitchen features, multi purpose room. Outdoor, you got the adult pool, small pavilion, corn toss courts, bocce ball courts, shuffleboard courts, uh, restrooms, oh, it goes out in the large and small dog areas. Um, agile, uh, agility gyms for dogs to include balance beams, tunnel houses, climbing boulders, restrooms, archery range with covered shooting area, adult pool, air gun range with covered shooting area open green space, picnic tables, outdoor fitness, shuffleboard, bocce ball, corn toss, so on and so forth. Out, here's some more outboard, outdoor stuff, bocce ball, shuffleboard, and all that kind of stuff. Mars is pitch and putt, that's new. Uh, oh my gosh, just goes on and on. More time mogul trails. So, so as you can see, they're on top of it. Let me get back over here and sit down. I'm getting too old to be walking around. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're on top of it. They, uh, they're they coming a long way. Um, I hope you kind of get an idea where those bridges are. Um, I kind of have them in my head, but even living here and seeing how it's being built down there, I can, you know, point a finger so somewhere in that area, but I wouldn't know exactly. But uh, at least you can kind of see now there's going to be three. And uh, to that guy that asked me about the... Um, soccer ball fields here on the two three four eight videos ago I don't even remember I thought he was joking <laughs> well I'm red in the face ain't I yeah they're gonna have a soccer ball field here so yeah well good for them uh, I don't think I'll be running that much but uh, uh, I might uh, go watch a game so anyway I just thought I'd get you up to date on the uh, sinkhole thing and the bridges those seem to be the two biggest things I keep getting asked about Hopefully that helps. Until then, I'll see you on the other side.